First off, a genuine thank you for giving Grepser Realtime a try. We're extremely grateful for your support. We've built Grepser Realtime to make it much more convenient for users to access web data. In this latest video on our Knowledge Base series, we've tried to give you an overall idea of how Grepser Realtime works. Signing up for Grepser Realtime is easy. With the recent tweaks in the Grepser app's user interface, we've made all of our platforms easily accessible via the sidebar. If you're a first-time user, simply head over to our website at grepser.com forward slash realtime. Click on the Get Started button and register with your details. Please note that your password must be at least six characters long and contain at least one of each of the following, upper and lowercase characters, numbers, and special characters. Your dashboard is the default landing page on real time. If you have ongoing projects, your monthly usage and activity graph is displayed. Since we're just starting out, our dashboard just gives us options to explore pre-built APIs or start a custom project. Let's try out some existing APIs first. Head over to the Explore APIs section. Since this is just an initial rollout, we only have a few pre-built APIs. We'll be adding more in the future. For now, we've built a few commonly requested APIs which can access product data from online retailers, reviewers, and articles. Trying out each of these APIs is free for a limited number of API calls, depending on the nature of the API and the amount of data extracted. Let's go ahead and try the Amazon ASIN Public API. Click on the button next to the API name, which says Starts $5 per month. Then, you'll be prompted to choose one of three options, our free, basic, and advanced plans. If you're happy with the API and wish to make more calls, you can then subscribe to one of our paid plans, basic or advanced. The pricing and the number of API calls allowed for each plan, again, varies on a project-to-project -project basis due to a number of factors. For now, let's just click the Subscribe button under the Free Plan. The system will take a few seconds to set up your project. Now, you can adjust your parameters and start using the API. Here's how to use this API. Since each product on Amazon has a unique identification code, the ASIN, you can simply add this code to the parameters field. Let's say we want product details about these sunglasses. You can either scroll down to the project description to get the ASIN, or write from the URL. Here. Copy and paste it into the real-time page. As you can see, this parameter is automatically appended to the API endpoint URL. You can now get details for this product by simply accessing this endpoint URL. Click this Copy to Clipboard button in the corner and paste it into your browser's address bar. This will then give you all the important information about the product as JSON, including its categories, availability, description, image URLs, price, and so on. We've also provided the API endpoints in multiple languages, Ruby, Python, PHP, Node.js, and curl, that you can simply copy and paste into your code. Let's request a custom API that extracts customer reviews from Amazon. So, let's get back to real time and start by clicking the Request a Custom API button at the top right of the page. Let's fill out the request form with our requirements. Let's start by naming our API. Let's call it Amazon Product Reviews. Next, we need to enter the URLs from where we want to source our data. For our case, it's simply Amazon.com.
If there's more than one URL, just enter each one in a new line. For now, we just have one URL. For the data fields, we'll just enter the names of the fields we want to extract from the website above. Just hit Enter as you add each one. Let's say we want the name of the reviewer, their rating, review title, review URL, since each review has its own standalone URL, review text, images URLs in case they've shared any images, and finally, the number of people who found the review helpful. To remove any field, just click the X. Finally, if you have any special notes or instructions apart from the ones already specified, then use this field to tell us of these extra requirements. For example, as before, let's say we want the product's ASIN to be one of the API endpoint parameters. And we just want the latest 50 reviews for each product. Make sure that everything's in order and hit Request API. Grepser will now review these requirements, get in touch, and set up the project. After everything is set up and your project is ready, you can use it in the same way as the pre-built API we covered earlier. This project will also be visible in the My APIs section. Once you start making API calls, your project's activity tab will spring to life. You can see how many API calls you've made so you know how many calls you have remaining on your current plan. You can also see how much data you've used and the total time taken to parse your requests. Your activity will also be visible on the activity graph. If you want to edit any aspect of your project, just head over to the Detail tab and make your changes. Then simply click Update to save your changes. As always, we look forward to hearing from you. In case you have any questions, simply head over to your project's support tab. Click Start a Conversation and write to us. We'll get back to you as soon as possible.